Hello traders and welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PAFX. I hope you all had a great holiday. I myself had a great one and uh, we're finally back on track. The market um, wasn't slow this uh, holiday actually there was some action anyway. But uh, yeah, next week um, I think uh, all the big banks and institutions will be uh, also back uh, in trading and at the offices and we may see some more action. So uh, while I wrote the internal disclaimer, hit that like button for me and if you're new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, uh, we will start this video with the main event of uh, what will be the main driver of the markets uh, for the coming weeks and maybe month um, and that is uh, the situation between uh, Iran and the US now after the um, kill of the Iranian military commander Qasim Soleimani. And um, as you may heard, um, guys, this is going to be um, very, very important for many markets. And it uh, seems like things have been uh, getting uh, worse during the weekend uh, where uh, Iran uh, threatening to, to hit American targets and Trump, uh, Trump is uh, vowing to hit uh, 52 Iranian tar targets if they uh, do uh, retaliate. So um, before we get to any of the uh, technicals, uh, you need to really keep an eye on this because uh, if the situation really get worth, uh, then uh, not much um, technical levels will hold. So uh, this is something you really need to keep an eye on uh, at while trading gonna affect gold, uh, Japanese yen, uh, um, the Swiss and of course uh, the dollar may get also uh, some strengths when you hear the word uh, war uh, usually dollar get uh, uh, stronger and you will maybe see weakness in Aussie, New Zealand and the, uh, and the CAD maybe will get stronger since oil may uh, keep pushing higher. So uh, those are uh, the headlines that you really need to keep an eye at to read market sentiment. Then we have these um, the normal news event, um, a pretty normal week where we have uh, some Im a major impact event where we're going to end the week with the uh, NFP um, from the US which is going to be very important. So if we start with uh, the charts and as usual with the Dixie weekly chart here um, we see that uh, the Dixie is still uh, on the weekly chart above the 200 uh, moving average uh, on the weekly time frame uh, last week uh, there was uh, some uh, rejection uh, at the dollar around the 96 point uh, 36 this chart could actually still do something like this all the way to test the 200 moving average and still uh, may give you a continuation to the upside from this uh, previous low here so uh, it's not totally over for the dollar yet but let's not forget as well that we have a major lower high now and this continuation could be possible while uh, the situation that is evolving now gonna be very very important so daily time frame, we see that uh, the Dixie had now uh, two attempts to um, break back above uh, this area where we have the yearly pivot point of the 20, uh, 2020 and uh, this month uh, monthly pivot also at that level and uh, the previously um, broken support which is uh, acting uh, resistance right now. So um, if the dollar really to uh, move higher we need to see uh, a, a break above the yearly pivot point here uh, going down to the four hour time frame to watch this level uh, looking left uh, why uh, we had this rejection here if we look left here we see that this area been tested uh, many times as um, uh, support and uh, seems like it acting support once again but um, again as I said uh, earlier uh, if uh, the dollar to get uh, a little bit strength if the situation keep to being uh, 
um, all talks about uh, war against Iran and stuff like that, uh, even though the US don't want a, a war, but uh, the situation is um, pretty interesting right now. If that would be the case and uh, we get some uh, dollar strengths uh, for the technicals to add up, we need to see a break above uh, this neckline here, above the yearly pivot point and the monthly pivot point to then look for that continuation may be toward 97.70 area okay oil um, of course oil um, prices to surge when you hear something like uh, what happened um, uh, during last week and um, as soon as you have um, trouble um, around the area where you have iran saudi arabia and all those uh, Iraq, all those uh, oil uh, importers, and uh, uh, of course uh, you're gonna see uh, oil prices surge. I think oil w may uh, keep pushing higher. Seems like uh, we're gonna have an extended um, um, situation now, where where we we uh, will not see a solution very fast. So. Uh, after the break above this previous high on oil there is a possibility for um, continuation yeah I'm not looking to uh, see uh, oil weakness in the uh, in the near future until you really have um, uh, seen that the situation is slowing down so uh, for oil uh, right now uh, 62 is a key support level uh, below that we have the the 60 as well as a key uh, support level so uh, we uh, we should be looking to buy the dips on oil so keep an eye on uh, the 62 here is now uh, a possible area to look for uh, buy and possible continuation toward 65 and uh, maybe higher so looking left on the daily time frame we may see an attempt to uh, Test this uh, previous high here around the 66 area. Gold did a break out before all um, uh, all this um, we saw uh, last week. We had the breakout on uh, gold. Um, it broke out from uh, this uh, trend line and continued to push higher. At the same time, we had the stock market pushing higher. So what make me think that someone somewhere knew or knowing something that we don't know and that is the case uh, always and uh, so there was uh, this chart was showing already uh, the possibility of, of what may come uh, and uh, we had the breakout on uh, gold to the upside same here no um, now uh, gold last week after this uh, headlines about iran we've got another strong uh, daily candle to the upside and if we look uh, at the weekly time frame we see that gold is testing uh, the previous high of this uh, possible uh, bullish flag yeah so um, a breakout here will signal a continuation of this uh, bullish um, <coughs> of this bullish market uh, it is uh, trending to the upside for a while then we had this very strong push higher we had this uh, consolidation period and now a break above this level will confirm the possibility for a continuation um, it may sound crazy to see gold back at uh, <coughs> 1700 but uh, I mean with uh, this situation we have right now everything is possible guys uh, so any break above this level that will signal a continuation uh, the move is uh, pretty extended if you look on the four hour time frame so we may see uh, some kind of correction but keep an eye on that if you get some kind of flag or any correction like that with a breakout try to trade that breakout to the upside especially if those headlines keep coming as negative between um, Iran and the US USD this market um, been pushing higher nicely on the daily time frame it broke actually above uh, this uh, key trend line and above the 200 moving average on the daily so the last push was a break above previous high and uh, a retest and one should be looking for a possible continuation but 
be careful now with um, uh, the the uh, situation and uh, when you start hearing uh, <laughs> the war drums that usually mean um, that the dollar may get stronger because it is um, it is seen uh, even though the, the the war is with the US uh, the the dollar will always be um, a, a safety um, market uh, to use yeah the same as gold and and um, the Japanese yen so um, because of that if that situation keep getting worse uh, you should looking for possible um, move to the downside if that would be the case so be aware of that the key level gonna be down here uh, at monthly s1 if uh, this got broken then we see even more weakness to come so uh, for next week keep an eye on this level if the euro fail to break above uh, this area here above this level and um, give you a bearish uh, evidence here then we may start seeing some kind of continuation to the downside and the key level to keep an eye at will be the monthly s1 area down here on uh, this one so it's all about uh, those um, headlines about uh, us and iran right now nothing else will uh, matter at the moment sterling also um, uh, possible same scenario here as euro uh, we we have right now uh, a lower high that is confirmed and um, looking at the daily time frame we are coming from this uh, major level where we've got the rejection after that uh, surge uh, during the election uh, the price got rejected all the way down toward um, uh, yearly pivot point area and uh, 1.300 is key level right now for this market uh, if uh, the sterling does not hold this uh, 1.300 we may see a continuation and as i said at the moment we have uh, already a signal for possible failure to keep pushing higher here that uh, this could be a correction and now another correction and more downside is possible on uh, this market so um you could uh, draw a trend line uh, like this uh, on the four hour time frame and uh, if that got broken strongly uh, look for possible continuation especially if the price also breached below 1.300 <clears throat> usd jappy reached the key level now uh, back below the 200 moving average usd jappy been going sideways during this whole period here so uh, we had um, still have uh, a range between uh, 108 and uh, one uh, 10970 that been the range now um, last week and uh, also on that news event we have a break below uh, this key swing but 108 gonna uh, be a key level so for more downside on um, UJ it need to break uh, and close below 108 to then we can start looking for a continuation toward 10662 so that is actually what I'm looking for next week is uh, to see if this will uh, act as support and um, giving you a bounce to the upside i'm not sure what will make this market push higher uh, when uh, when the situation is as it look right now everything um, lots of uncertainty what will happen and uh, uh, and all that between the US and uh, Iran so uh, maybe short-term uh, bounce to the upside and if that happened keep an eye on this level for a possible reversal and as I said if 108 got broken on the daily with a close below it there will open the door for more downside on this market and we may see 106.50 uh, tested as well uh, very soon New Zealand USD, New Zealand and Aussie, as I said, they will not um, be strong if uh, the situation uh, keep going like uh, this. So um, last week we had um, a, a rejection from uh, this key area. Looking left here, we see that uh, this level been tested uh, many times uh, at this uh, area here. And um, 
we start uh, getting rejection to then uh, on uh, Friday after the, the headline about uh, the US strike uh, we got the continuation so uh, it broke the inner trend line to then break the outer trend line and uh, I'm expecting a possible more downside here on this market at least toward uh, these lows uh, down here or maybe deeper toward uh, this area as well because we've been looking at this level to be tested uh, somehow after the breakout of this uh, uh, ascending triangle we never had a real test so um, looking at this uh, rejection here now and uh, how uh, the momentum of the bearish move uh, been there is a possibility for uh, the next leg now after uh, some correction uh, so look for that correction first maybe a flag to then look for the continuation to the downside USD chief <coughs> at a pretty interesting level so uh, on the daily time frame uh, it did test uh, the last line of defense this area is a key level now a daily close below this would signal a continuation to the downside um, chief is already a um, uh, safe haven but uh, I'm not sure how stronger it would be against the dollar things in the stock market need to be pretty bad to see this uh, moving uh, below this uh, previous low here so uh, keep an eye on that uh, any uh, move higher toward uh, the monthly pivot point here around this area uh, could be also a possible level to look for um, uh, bearish evidence because this area also been tested um, as support and resistance looking left here here and lately we had this uh, bounce from uh, this area so at the monthly uh, pivot point level uh, keep an eye on this area if you get bearish evidence there is a possibility for the continuation to the downside but once again the key level on this chart is still a close on the daily below this level that is needed for more downside if that is the case that will open the door for even more downside on uh, usd chief usd cad um, <coughs> with oil prices um, um, at these highs uh, of course this may uh, keep pushing lower so on the daily time frame we have a confirmed break and close below these levels as you see here this candle uh, did close below <coughs> both levels so this area is now broken and um, if we look on the four hour time frame uh, we had a pretty strong push to the downside and now we are expecting some kind of correction consolidation uh, period if the price fails to break higher than this and uh, give you a break to the downside uh, of that consolidation you should be looking to sell this market for uh, even more uh, downside and uh, if that is the case and since we have the break I think uh, this market is uh, possibly ready to test this low down here around 1.28 this is gonna be uh, the next uh, market objective the question is always how far of a correction we will get before the next leg to the downside um, <clears throat> if oil prices keep holding uh, the highs and uh, start pushing uh, faster to the upside then this will not give us a bigger correction and it will also uh, keep pushing lower <clears throat> so keep an eye on those uh, oil Aussie USD also same situation um, as in New Zealand uh, it will not um, be a popular uh, Aussie will not be a popular currency if there is uncertainty and um, if um, risk off mode uh, to hit the market next week then uh, that could mean uh, more weakness for Aussie while uh, the the daily chart and the technicals are saying we should be looking for more upside since we broke above this neckline we had a strong break higher but this market did reach a key level looking left here uh, it is a very very important area where the price uh, reached uh, last week and start pushing to the downside so um, based on this resistance there is a possibility for at least a deeper correction uh, keep in mind that the price did break also a key uh, trend line and above the 200 moving average which is a 
possible start of a bullish continuation but again as i said with the situation we have right now there is a possibility that we see more downside on uh, aussie usd and uh, look at this uh, rejection and how uh, strong uh, the bearish momentum being looking at those uh, big bodied candles showing a real momentum for the bears and uh, yeah even here we are looking for some kind of consolidation to look for a possible continuation down toward monthly s1 even on this market so uh, yeah guys that was it for uh, this week's um hope you all have a great trading week as i said keep an eye on those headlines uh, the uh, situation between iran and the us is the main driver for the upcoming weeks and um, if it get um, uh, worth uh, keep in mind that technicals will not um, will not work and uh, as soon as you have a uh, lots of fear and uncertainty in the market all technicals get out of the min the window and you should be trading the market sentiment and not the chart so uh, thanks a lot see you next week bye bye